Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Sporting Global Podcast. And today we're here with Geraldo. And Geraldo, how how are you? How's, how's life in Brazil these days? Yes, I'm fine. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks, many thanks uh, for Sporting Global to the invitation. Uh, here is okay. I am I'm living in the south of Brazil, so it's a really uh, a little bit uh, uh, cold for now for me, but it's okay. And uh, we are we are going and uh, exchange ideas with you and people here. Awesome. Well, it's a pleasure having you part of the podcast, Geraldo. And for those of you that are tuning in, you know, make sure to like the video. You know, subscribe so you don't miss out on key tips every week you know from leaders like Geraldo coming in here on the our YouTube channel you know giving you advice giving you tips and then every Sunday as well we're doing a live stream so you can also join that if you want to so we're, we're mixing it up a little bit but uh Geraldo uh, I, I think we need to take it back to like how did your journey in the sport industry begin take us a little bit back Perfect. Uh, so uh, I'm graduated at uh, sport science uh, in sport science for yep. uh, State University of Londrina. Uh, in the beginning, in my university course, I intend to study and specialize uh, as a soccer coach. Mm. Uh, well, it was my my first uh, idea when I entered the university, uh, or a multidisciplinary activity related to scientific process of soccer right. uh, but my first experience was not so good uh, I, I solo advanced methods and my performance in academic approach like uh, linked to biological area yeah. was not so good right uh, and so in the university I woke up to studies in the field of management uh, and I like it too, too much I started to uh, to work uh, with uh, academic at athletics, That's academic right. uh, organizing events uh, and participation of the university uh, competitions, uh, state and national competitions. Uh, and this was my my first uh, contact with with the sport management. I liked it so, so much in that time and I started to specialize in this area uh, so in that time uh, early 2000s uh, we have low access to uh, courses or information about uh, sport management uh, seminars congress courses or specific training as we have today in Brazil or in the whole uh, access yeah. Uh, in the whole world. Uh, my first contact with sport management was uh, linked to sports law area. Mm -hmm. uh, the offer in Brazil was was that. Right. Uh, and then uh, I, I, I did uh, specialization, master's degree, PhD studies, uh, always linked to sport management. Uh, seeking to maintain uh, uh, an academic life with practical uh, application. Sure. So always I, I did the, the, the academic formation uh, uh, related to a practical, pra practical uh, experience linked to consultation, uh, or as a manager in, in some areas uh, like clubs, like confederation now, uh, uh, association, national associations, right. or entrepreneurship too. Nice. So that's that's it. <laughs> well, it's a uh, it's a fascinating background you've been uh, touching upon. Uh, I, I mean, like what I think is great as well. You've been both on the academic side, but also on the you know the sport business professional side of the industry which is always a, a great great mixture to have to have with you but uh, obviously now you're currently the sports director at the brazilian table tennis association so what are what are some of your key responsibilities in your current role okay uh, i work in the field of general management uh, of the entity yep. uh, focusing on delivering the organization strategy that uh, we defined in 2016 
uh, when I was hired as a consultant of uh, Brazilian Table Tennis Confederation. Uh, so I, I am I hired uh, as an executive since uh, the end of 2018. Yeah. Uh, with the mission to put the this strategy uh, into practice. Uh, this nice. is our challenge for now. Yeah. Uh, and so I work uh, with a focus on monitoring this planning and the execu execution of it. Mm. Uh, paying special attention on the core business of the entity that is to organize and structure uh, the Brazilian Olympic and Paralympic teams uh, yeah. to international competitions, uh, programs aimed to detecting and developing talents for international approach also, and the uh, organization of strong system of uh, competitions, events nationwide. Uh, so Uh, for this to happen, we have uh, another project, uh, logical, uh, as a mass massification project uh, linked mm. to ping pong. Uh, we, we start a, a campaign uh, last year, uh, approaching to the, this, this way of play of table tennis. Yeah. Uh, human resource training, like the Table Tennis University project that we launched uh, also in the last year sure. uh, and communications relationship with the fans, general players, and that's it. So uh, with more than 20 uh, uh, employees here, yeah. uh, we work uh, with these in, on a daily basis. Yeah. Well, you're covering a lot of a lot of ground in your role. I mean, like there's there's several yeah. hats you know you have to have to wear, and 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 even like you know being association, you're you're still kind of a small team, you know, with 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 twenty twenty people. But uh, it's a very exciting sports, you know, that are, I would assume also is growing a lot in in Brazil. And I, I guess like you know if if you're Looking a little bit into the challenges that the Brazilian sport industry is facing now, obviously, you know, from, you know, you having the, the wide experience, both as, you know, within the academia, but also, you know, as a sport professional, um, what, what, what are some of the major challenges that you see, like, if you look at the Brazilian sport industry as a whole, like, what are the challenges they're facing today? And you can also relate that, of course, into like the, the, the table tennis things aside as well. Yes. Uh, so the, the challenge that uh, I, I will uh, talk about is for table tennis and for many and many sports in Brazil. Uh, first of all, I think that we uh, had the, an evolution, a great evolution in the last 10 years, I think. Uh, look at to professionalism and the specialization of the general management, uh, uh, management sport management in Brazil right. in, yep. in many traditional uh, entities, organizations. Uh, but we have to do more. Uh, we, we still below the need and potential of the Brazilian market. Mm. Uh, and the main gap, I think, is to is related to the relationship with uh, 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 customers, uh, loyal programs, right. uh, understand better uh, how uh, how people consume sport, uh, uh, play sport. Uh, I think it, it, this is the main gap because mm. uh, in Brazil, many organizations uh, used to be to, to live with uh, public money or Yeah. Uh, help uh, from sponsors sure uh, and for now obviously we have to to a better approach like uh, Europe like the USA uh, to dialogue better with the market and understand better uh, how people uh, play uh, uh, support their teams or their organizations mm. uh, that This is the main challenge, I, I think, and also obviously to to have a, an, a better approach to innovation, right. and and this area I think it's growing up uh, fastly here for now, 
uh, with innovation rubs, hubs, uh, departments in some entities like clubs or uh, associations with innovation areas. Yep. Uh, and uh, the approach with technology companies, I think this is the main main areas that uh, uh, we have a challenge and we are looking for improve uh, for the next year. Although the good thing about innovation <clears throat> is, of course, like there's a lot of, you know, startups in sports, sports tech, you know, and, and things are happening that you guys, you know, can utilize and, 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 and benefit of and, and how, how, how sort of like you and the table tennis are sort of like looking at, you know, the, I guess the startup ecosystem for, for Brazil and, and seeing, okay, are there companies here that can help us, you know, in the process of reaching and, 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 and solving those challenges that you, that you just mentioned. Yeah. The, we, we have a, an approach with uh, some uh, startup hubs, uh, like our arena hub. Yep. That is a place uh, here in Brazil. Uh, linked to Allianz Park, uh, the, the arena of Brazilian football club, uh, uh, Palmeiras. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And uh, we have a, a, a department there uh, with uh, the, the marketing area uh, linked to this arena hub. Right. Uh, so we have a better approach in this this. Uh, with the startups and uh, new ideas uh, for for the market, right. and uh, and now we are growing up our team uh, related to this area uh, right. with some some guys uh, dedicated to uh, to a better approach in these innovation hubs. Well, that's uh, that's that's on the right right pad, and we we know Arena Hub very well as as one of our partners too, and uh, and they're mm-hmm. uh, they're a great great ecosystem. Um, and, and I guess like if you look a little bit into if you take this now a little bit into the preparations for for the Tokyo Olympics, and and if you could just you know take like an overview, like what does the recruitment process look like for the table tennis players and being part of that? Because I guess like that's uh, quite a quite an obstacle and uh, and a lot of things that has to be solved. <laughs> okay, uh, so I think in the the last ten years, uh, CBTM built a, a great generation, yeah. uh, a competitive generation for Brazil. It's uh, in, in a sport that's not so traditional for Brazil. Right. Uh, so we have a competitive uh, also in the male uh, uh, team uh, of Olympics and uh, female team, I think that is de- developing for next years. It's a, it's a great team also. Right. Uh, so our big challenge is to continue this process. Uh, so we, we are structured uh, in uh, a work called the high level route. Mm. That was built uh, by Michel Gadal, a, a French consultant that worked uh, for Brazilian team in 2009. Got it. 2000, uh, 2009. Yeah. And uh, we are we are doing what they they proposed the met- the same methodology uh, right. with diamonds uh, of the future program that's called mm. here. Uh, another is a train. It's like a a, a training uh, training centers uh, called Polity Development Regional for uh, for states to develop talents. Yeah, and uh, methodological approaches that we are building now uh, with the the ideas of the University of Table Tennis mm. uh, linked to. To college, to Unicamp, right, that is yeah. a big university here in Brazil. Nice. And so we are doing this uh, and looking for a better promotion and development of these uh, uh, young athletes uh, and also exchange with Europe and Asia. Mm. That is the, the, the main, the main developed. Uh, countries that uh, 
uh, work with table tennis. So this is right. the main approach to develop table tennis players for the future. Oh, I think that's 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 really fascinating. I think it's also really cool that uh, you know that you guys were already using you know uh, you know international <laughs> advice and support yeah. like back in 2009 and sort of like building a solid frameworks from you know the the industry and the people that you know okay we, we've been doing this for a long time now let's you know replicate you know this model and i guess like fine tune a little bit too but i think that's that, that that's that's really great and if you're looking at you know some of the challenges you know with developing you know table tennis as an olympic sport in brazil like w what does that look like <laughs> okay uh First of all, we have to recognize that we are a niche sport. Yeah. And so for the, <laughs> the main fans or the, the passionate people about the, the, the sport, it's not so easy right. uh, to, to convince, to, to start to talk about this. Uh, so this is the, the first uh, step that we are uh, trying to do. Uh, is to convince people that we have to strengthen uh, our community and uh, work with the community and, uh, and and open space for for new people right uh, uh, so th this is the uh, one of our challenges in the developing uh, and uh, the the second uh, step, uh, is to talk with more people because uh, table tennis uh, is a easy sport to to play. Uh, mm. It it is a, a sport that many people uh, play expo spontaneously. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They they see a racket, a ball, right. a table. You you just can get play, right at play, it. <laughs> yes, uh, with no judgment, and that's it. <laughs> Uh, fun, so, yeah. so we are uh, we are building uh, better contact with these people, uh, talking with fan with uh, a, a different approach mm -hmm. uh, to to open space and to try to to uh, to recruit more people to 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 the to the sport. Uh, and so understand the wishes and desires of uh, each table tennis players, each, yeah. each, uh, each profile, uh, and offer better uh, products and services for them. That's our main approach in, in this area. Well, I, I uh, think table tennis sort of like has a huge potential too, though, you know, in a sense, because, you know, everyone kind of, you know, enjoy it, you know, like, of course, like it's, 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 more as a, oh, like, as you said, you saw like a table, you have the racket and you kind of like, you know, start playing. But I, I think it's like something that a lot of people kind of enjoy, but they just never thought about it as like, oh, it's something I'm going to do like professionally or like I'm going to like try to, you know, be a pro player in this. But I think that's something that has a huge potential because of that, because it's if people enjoy it, like that's kind of like the first step, right, of, of making it something something uh, yeah. great. So I think it's and, a lot of potential. Yes, and people are uh, are better uh, like better to to play the, the game than watch maybe. So yeah, <laughs> uh, our main strategy is uh, focus on on play and on opportunize better uh, uh, competitions, better events, or better communication right. with people to. To make an, an incentive in this, yeah, uh, in this approach, well, it, make, it makes a lot of sense. And and I guess like to to start kind of like wrapping up here a little bit, like if if you have any you know tips for for students out there that are you know looking to start their career, uh, you know in sports, like maybe they want to work for like an association uh, like like the table tennis uh, in Brazil, or or even like within the table tennis, like for a club or like a regional thing or something like, how do you, how do you start and, and what tips do you have for them? Perfect. Uh, the, the main tip that I usually give to students, uh, uh is to take, uh, 
a good advantage on the period that they are student. Yeah. Uh, we have many opportunities uh, in, in this phase uh, of our life uh, to talk with uh, great people or different people, uh, to make contact in the in Congress, seminars, uh, yeah. and even uh, another uh, forms of contact with uh, people. Uh, use internship opportunities to uh, have an approach with the market. Uh, so this is the main, the main, uh, the main, the main tip that uh, yeah. I, I, I usually to to give to students. Uh, and my example is uh, is really good in this area. Uh, my my approach with table tennis was. Uh, through the PhD studies, I I didn't uh, I never play table tennis yeah. or ping pong good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. My my contact with uh, through uh, the sport management as a consultant uh, right. indicated by my tutor of PhD studies mm. uh, when my when the president called him uh, to to indicate some some people this, right. this was my my contact with the, the sport yeah and i think that we have many opportunities in, in this approach uh, and uh, uh, try to better uh, contact people uh, have better experiences and so make prepare uh, make better preparation for the market to new opportunities in this area yeah, no, for sure. I mean, like, I think, Gerald, it's it's a great advice. And I mean, like, uh, you know, uh, for those, you know, that are listening here and our students, like, take advantage of being a student, you know, because it's, it, it's a really also the stage where, you know, people are kind of like, you know, if you reach out to people, they are more willing to talk with you as well, because, you know, you're not trying to take their job or you're not trying to like, you know, sell them something. So you're there to learn, you know, and, and having that humble and, 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 uh, you know, open approach into learning, like a lot of people will, will open that door for you. So you can, you know, get your foot in and, and learn. And then from that point, you know, you got to, do the work you know nobody's sitting here waiting for you to reach out but you gotta you gotta take the step so Geraldo, that's that, that's a great advice i think and 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 to sort of like i don't know if you have any final comments before we before we wrap up here oh that's it uh, uh just to, to to thanks again uh, the opportunity to, to talk with uh, sporting global uh, we start a, a partnership uh, recently with, with a recruitment uh, in Germany. Yeah, uh, it's going to be exciting. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, we, we have a, a guy that started uh, yesterday, I think, uh, to, to make a cover in our training camp of uh, a male team uh, uh, to, in the preparation to, to Olympic Games. Uh, so it is very good and maybe we have uh, better opportunities for the future for uh, for table tennis uh, growing and sure. other uh, sports uh, growing up uh, here in Brazil. So many thanks and uh, thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely, Geraldo. It was a, it was a pleasure having you here. And, and like I said, for those of you, you know, that are staying with us all the way to the end, uh, if you haven't, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, like like the video and, uh, you know, maybe reach out to Geraldo as well. And uh, if you want to learn more about table tennis and what they're doing in Brazil, a lot of cool things are happening and stay tuned for more opportunities at sportingglobal.com. So thank you, Geraldo. And as always, I'm, I'm going to finish up with like some Norwegian, actually. We, we always do that higher here so i'm gonna learn you some norwegian <laughs> i don't know if you i don't know if you're ready for it but uh we we always say be snakkes which means see you later in norwegian uh i don't know <laughs> <laughs> see you later <laughs> no, no worries uh, no worries geraldo thank you thank you so much and, and have a good uh, day in brazil thank you all right <laughs> bye bye